Hey gangsters, it's just me. And I thought I would show you my Ancha Burrita casserole. I know I have another video um, that I made of this, but this one's a little bit different this time, and so I'd like to share it with you. These are the ingredients I'm using. I have a big family, so I'm using three packs of frozen burritos. You can use any kind you want, but this one has uh, beef, bean, and green chilies. I got three packs of those. And I got Mexican um, blend shredded cheese. And back here I got some mozzarella cheese. I got some diced tomatoes and onions. And I got a can of this. It's uh, the green sauce, enchilada sauce. And I'm going to use a can of this. And for the garnish on top, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the salsa on it. So here we go. First off, I have a, my uh, roaster pan, and I've already sprayed it with some uh, non-stick spray. And I'm going to put a little bit of uh, the enchilada sauce in here to coat the bottom of the pan. And then I'm going to put the burritos in here, if I can do this one-handed. Hopefully I can do, do this really fast so my camera don't run out of battery. Got to get these guys all in a row. Make it real nice, you know. Maybe this next batch, maybe this next batch here will just... Uh, Kind of pour in here that way. I can arrange it. Yep. Very cool, gang. Everybody, get into the to the tub here, because we're going to have a party in the oven. We're going to have a burrito party in the oven. Now these are frozen burritos, mind you, but they make a really good what I call ancha burrito, ancha burrito casserole. I gotta get them all lined up here. It's kind of hard to do, but I can do it. Hold on, let me get these in here and then I will be right back. Okay, I got them all lined up, see? And so now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this on top of them. Make sure everybody gets, gets a shower with some green chili sauce. Whoops. That looks about right, don't you think? Next, I'm going to put some of this on it. But I'm going to have to spoon it. So. And this is uh, cheddar cheese Campbell's soup. I don't know if the cheaper brands make it or not but I tend to like Campbell's the best out of all the brands of soup seems like I grew up in Campbell's so that's kind of what I stick with almost there this is really hard to do with one hand but we're getting by That little toot toot in the background was my oven turning on. I got my oven set at 350. I'm going to put a tad bit of water in this can just because, see, there's stuff in there, waste not, whatnot. So I'm going to come over here to my sink and put some water in the can. Yeah, that's enough. So see, like a half a can of water. And gonna stir it up here. Let's try to get these uh, blobs of of uh, cheddar soup on these burritos. 
that guy over there seems a little bit dry. Hmm. Okay, so good so far. Okay, now we're going to do this. Okay. Looking good. Next, I got to get all this crap out of the way. Next, we're going to do some, some of this, this Mexican style blended cheese. Get a big old generous handful. Whee! Here comes the cheese, guys. Make way for the cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. It's rain and cheese. I'm so excited. It's rain and cheese. Okay. Next, we're going to put a little mozzarella. I usually use pepper jack or just Monterey jack cheese, but I don't have it, so I have to use what I have at home. And this kind of, I don't know, it makes it a little bit better. Okay, it's rain and cheese some more. It gives it a, a good taste and kind of a pretty look. Oh, they didn't do a very good job shredding the cheese, did they? Okay. So that is good, y'all. Okay, now next this. We'll put a, some uh, sprinkles of onions on here to give it some more flavor. I'll put some a few tomatoes here and there to make it pretty. Food has to be pretty. And then next, I got this. I'm going to sprinkle some of this on there. Hold on. Ugh. It's so hard to do things one-handed. Okay. I'm going to put some dabs of salsa on top of this. Looking good. And um, I had some chili seasoning. I think I put a little bit of that on. Should I use chili seasoning or chili powder? Hmm. <sighs> we'll use some paprika. Just to make it pretty. I think it's looking too red. A little bit more cheese. Looks like pizza, huh? Too bad I don't have any black olives. Here's another piece they didn't get cut up. Alright. So, I will cover it with some aluminum foil. And I'm going to put it in my oven at 350 degrees and I will bake it until the tortillas, uh, frozen burritos I should say, are nice and uh, heated through and the cheese is nice bubbly and melted. And I will see you later when it's done. I'll do a little short video and show you what it looks like and I will do a mukbang on my other channel with this yummy casserole. Later gangsters.